The following is a presentation on the Donnie Sports 17 Network. Welcome to Donnie Sports World, the show that captures the sports entertainment excitement from North Texas. On today's show, football. And why not? Football is big in Texas. But you want to know what else is big in Texas? Country music. And the biggest country music event to come to North Texas is on its way. The ACM Awards and the big outdoor concerts planned at Globe Life Park. And they're bringing lots of country music muscle. Garth Brooks, George Strait, Miranda Lambert, Brooks and Dunn. One performer that has played at AT&T Stadium a while back is Tim McGuire. We featured him on the Donnie Sports 17 Network, and I asked him some questions about his country music career and sports. And you know what? Both are kind of intertwined. Hope you like the short interview. So, um, it's not that far out there. I'm in Texas, but I'm already pretty good football movies. Yeah, exactly. Good Texas football movies. Absolutely. So, did, you know, did you know that Roger, from the very beginning, that they started talking about the concerts, that Roger started campaigning for Faith Hill in the letter? <laughs> <laughs> in that order. I, I knew he was a Faith Hill fan. And as his favorite oh, song, I, I actually work out the um, CMT. I work out the country, country music in the morning. And, uh, um, so I, I, the, the new Kenny Chesney, I'm actually in there for about that's right, that's split right. seconds. Yeah. So I'm like, Big fan of yours and your, and your wife. Well, thank you. Um, I, I, you know, this is an incredible place to be. I've never been in the stadium here. Um, to, to be here tonight in, in Dallas at this stadium, football season started last night at full swing. I'm just a huge fan. I'm a fan of football. I'm a, I'm a fan, of, of course, kind of Rogers, but of, of what it stands for and, and the integrity of the game. I, I'm just glad to be a part of it. What do you uh, enjoy more, the acting or the singing? Oh, it's, I, I, I got to dance with what Brown means. Plus, it pays the bills. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is the new movie? What's the name of it? Uh, it's Country Strong. Gwyneth. Country Strong. Strong? Yeah. And then you have Strong, S-T, but not Strong. Strong. Yeah. Uh, country <laughs> Strong is a bad enough title. No, make it Strong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you haven't seen the trailer since the first time? I haven't seen the trailer, but they're putting out now. No. But you're going to see it tonight. Yeah, I'm going to see it tonight on the screen. I didn't mean Country Star was a bad title. I just don't, don't call it Country oh, Star. That would be a bad title. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Got a question for you, Tim. Uh, you, you, you've done a lot of uh, things, both in music and in movies, and you've won a lot of awards. Uh, which is the most satisfying? Your first uh, number one hit, your first Grammy, or the day that you got your star on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood? Well, you know. Gosh, I, you always got to go back to your first hit record because that sort of was the impetus for everything else to happen, I guess. So all those were significant moments to me. Um, but probably catching a touchdown pass in high school was probably <laughs> one of the highlights of my life. But no, I, I, uh, they're all significant. You know, I can't, I can't pick one thing and, and say that it's more significant than the other because they're all building blocks and they all lead to something else. And, and uh, I... You know, I rarely, I'm not a kind of guy that looks back at things. I'm always looking at what's around the corner. So. What was your reaction whenever you heard that the host committee was approaching you about this concert? Fantastic. I was excited about it. Like I said, I'm a huge football fan, and, and I hadn't seen the stadium down here, so I was looking forward to be able to play in the stadium. So it's the only way I'm going to play in the stadium is on the stage. <laughs> <laughs>
Back in January, North Texas hosted the first college football national championship, and what a game it was as Ohio State came in and beat Oregon to win the national championship. So you want to know how DFW gets perceived by a bunch of out-of-towners? I caught up with two out-of-town news anchors from Portland, Oregon, Steve Dunn and Deborah Knapp. I asked them what they think about Dallas as a town and a sports town. Chance to. Oh boy, we have news anchors. On the oh, well, that's right. Yeah, and what? I think that's a C. Is that the ABC. CB ABC station? Right. Yes. My, my name's Donnie from the Donnie Sport Football Show, and you are Steve Dunn. Steve Dunham. Dunn. D U N N. Oh, Dunn. All right. right. Good. So, okay. Now, you know, this is like big for Dallas yeah. and actually big for you guys to yeah. be a part of something that is like historic. Huge. As for news anchors here, what do you think of Dallas? I guess it's your first time here, I guess. This is my first time to Dallas. First uh, time in Texas, actually. Uh huh. So I am thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, I, I've had just a fabulous time. I'm finding what a great city Dallas is. Yeah. I've heard great things about it because I have friends of mine who live here. Oh, what but nice. I, I am absolutely thrilled to be. I want to come back when it's warmer, though. Oh, 
Let's see what you think. Yeah, please do. I get much warmer. Yeah, that's right here in the summertime. You guys get a little toasty. Uh, this will say 110, 115. It tends to peak a little bit. Yes. Uh, that's right, yeah. And uh, as you said, the people are friendly out here. And uh, and you do news. Right. But what, and occasionally this is like the sports scene. So what do you think of the sports fans in general around the Dallas area? I mean, they seem to have a lot of sports fans around here. People know sports in Texas. Yeah. Especially football. Yeah. We're learning people know their football here big time. That's and, right, yeah. Uh, we went out to the stadium yesterday, uh -huh. the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Yeah. Couldn't believe that place. <laughs> so we get to go there for the game on Monday. Yeah. And I can't wait. I mean, it's going to be so fabulous to step inside that place. It is. And, uh, it's such, such a thrill that I've always wanted to, to be a part of. So That's I'm right. excited about it. That's right. Well, welcome to Dallas. I'm glad that you're enjoying it here. You can't miss Cowboy you know, AT&T Stadium. When you get in the Grand Prairie off the 30, just look for those dollar signs come off the roof. Oh, big time. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's really gorgeous to look at. Yeah. I'm just anxious to get inside. Yeah, that's right, it's yeah. It's so much fun. Nice It'll to be, meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank Pleasure. you. Thank All right. You. All right. News anchors all over the place. News reporters all over the place. Oh, no, we're everywhere. That's right, yes. Where are you from? Yes, I'm here from Dallas. I'm from the Donnie Sports 17 Network. I'm doing my show, Donnie Sports Football Show. Are you rooting for anybody? Huh? Are you rooting for any team? Ah, anybody? let's see. Well, if you look at my shoes. Oh, nice. Yeah. But, but tonight, I'm going to get a pair of shoes that are a little bit more representative of, of your team. They'll be, it'll, it'll, it'll match the outfit that I'm going to wear nice. on Monday. Let me get your name. Deb Knapp from K2 News. Deborah Knapp. Deborah Knapp. Deborah Knapp. Yeah. All right, there, yeah. too. So, I had to ask, what do you think of Dallas? And, uh, I love you Dallas. I love it. I, the energy is fantastic. The food is wonderful. The people are fantastic. Okay. Yeah, this is a good foodie town, by it the is. way. If you haven't uh, had the barbecue... Yeah, brisket. Uh, yeah, you had that. Well, I'll tell you what, there are much other places around that will have your mouth watering. If you oh, get that, okay. go yeah. around a little bit. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you for welcoming us. Uh, the red carpet is always out. Oh, good. That's right, yes. And uh, i tell you what, I, and between you and me, I think the Jumps are going to win. Okay. Oh, I like to think it. That's right, yeah. How long have you been doing news in the... Uh, uh, in the Pacific I've, Northwest. I've been in Portland for 13 years. 13 years. Yes. So you I'll tell you, but I worked in Ohio before that. Oh, really? So I know a little bit about both teams. Columbus, maybe? I did. Oh, my God. Do so you have like a, literally a connect link to both teams? It's a great teams. game for me. I love watching this game. Oh, me too. But what? here, I'm representing Oregon one here today. There you go, that's my, this is this is like a big big event for Dallas. I mean, uh, yeah, no other town can have this. Yeah, except that's true. us. That's true. Uh, we may loan it to you for Portland around. So yeah. <laughs> I hope so. That's right. Yeah. It have Deborah, wonderful talking to you. All right, you too. Thank, Bye. You. Thank you. I'll tell you what, Oregon folks are the best. I'm telling you. <laughs>We hope you enjoyed this edition of Donnie Sports World. Please come back again. I'm Donnie Arnick. Thank you for watching.